Good morning. It is early, like 7.40, and I got up this morning, I took a shower, and I just finished steaming my face with my new facial steamer. I want to thank Vanity Planet for sponsoring this video. I have been loving my new steamer that I got. I've been using it this past week. You only want to do it two to three times a week for no more than 15 minutes, but it's so easy. You just fill up the water tank and then you turn it on and you let it sit for a couple minutes and then it's ready. But when you fill up the water tank, you only want to use filtered or distilled water. So I've been using the water in my aqua gear but it honestly just makes your skin feel so amazing. It's really hydrating and the one thing that I really like about it is that it helps clear your pores and then when you do your skincare, it'll penetrate deeper into your skin so it just like makes it a lot more effective. But yeah, I just have really been loving it and if you wanna make it even more like relaxing, you can add essential oils into it like lavender or rose and it will just be like even more therapeutic but it's just a great facial steamer and it's nice that you can have like your own spa treatment at home but you just have to click the link in my description box and then that will take you right to the product. And then you want to use the code HaleySteam because you'll get 50% off, you guys. That is so good. So definitely do that. But I am going to finish getting ready this morning. My skin is like prepped so now I can do my skincare. First one that I use every day is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic and I just do a couple drops on my forehead, my cheeks and gently rub that in. I've been doing like half a pump of this because honestly a lot of product comes out but the eye cream has really been helping my skin. I feel like my eyes were so cracked and dry and it feels so nice. After that, I use the Epiance Renewal Facial Cream. This moisturizer is incredible, like, feels so soft. The last thing that I use is sunscreen. This is the Elta MD one. I just do like a little pump on my hand and I really like tinted sunscreen, especially for days when I don't want to wear makeup, it's nice to just have like a little tint on. But sunscreen is super important for your skin. Even if you live in a place that has like cloudy weather, you still want to wear sunscreen every single day to protect your skin. 
outfit today is going to be this set from White Fox. And I love that it's a top and little mini skirt. Got this in a size small. But I just wanted you guys to be able to see the material up close. It's like sweater material. Love that there's a lot of different blues in it. This set though, so cute. Love the color, just like the style of it. Something different than a dress, but so comfy. Just got my sneakers on. What part of Vegas is this again? Oh, uh, we're actually in Canada. You know what? <laughs> yes, downtown. I've never been downtown, you guys. Well, kind of. You're not missing much. Where are we at? Um, Mothership. Ooh. You called it Madhouse, so I almost called it Madhouse. Yeah, but I mixed it up. Hey, how are you? Sweet. Need to take our temperature or anything? No, nope, we're good? good. Awesome, thank you. I know. It's really cool. So these these are like little rooms around there? No, no, no. Like, oh, well, I don't know what that is, actually. This is, these are the rooms, and then the people made them little shops. Oh my gosh, this palm tree is so nice. What a nice palm tree. 10 out of 10 on the palm tree, huh? I love it. The inside of this is really cool. Go through that side. Oh, this one? Yep. Uh, you know Irish? I know, I've been here 17 times. What do you think? I like it. What's the consensus? Is that a, is that a proper word to use? Yeah, this is not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? This is way cuter than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's really nice. Like that wall is really cool. Yeah. Even the like counter and the bar. It's a little dark in here for an Instagram picture though, huh? Got you. It's so cute. It's the tiniest coffee I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Their cups are so cute. <laughs> I don't want the glass cup, but it's okay. You want me to take this off, right? Yeah. That is not aesthetic. That's making it worse. Tell them what you got. I got, they could probably guess, an iced latte with oat milk. I could have guessed that. What did you get? This is a frappuccino with uh, just a splash of sugar, and that's about it. <laughs> no, did you get foam on it? No, it's a nitro. Oh. A nitro cold beer. Your Which favorite. Is, yeah, it's like so-so here. Really? Is it not strong? Not like Starbucks. <laughs> Taster, taster. Taste test? Taste test. Where's the garbage? Right here. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice. One out of ten of them. Seven. It's a strong rating. If it was Starbucks, what would you give it? Whoa, Starbucks is below a seven? You know what, they don't make the drink the same every time. No, they don't. I feel don't. like my drink tastes different when I go to different Starbucks. Their black coffee is different. Yeah, why? I don't know. So, Starbucks is like individual ratings per day. Got it. You like anything one out of 10, and sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Well, I wanna know if it's like worth my time or not. If you're giving something a seven, not really worth my time. I want to go to eights and above. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is an eight. This is an eight? Yeah. Oh, we're here. <laughs> we are here. A1, A1. A1, A1. Trying to spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me.
right now and I've just been editing the content that we took not for the vlog but for like my Instagram story and just looking through all the pictures and video clips and that's one thing that I do is I never post anything on my story when I'm actually in the moment. I like to enjoy it and not really worry about social media. Obviously I'm vlogging which is like different but I don't like to post anything right away so I always like go home and then we'll spend some time posting it all on my story afterwards. So I definitely recommend doing that if you like posting on your Instagram story a lot and then you feel like you don't get to fully enjoy what you're doing. Just like post everything after because honestly no one even notices and if they do, no one cares. <laughs> so that's what I do. But I'm going to go down to the gym and do a workout. Did my warm up and I'm starting off with incline dumbbell so just set the bench up got some weights and i'm just gonna bust out this workout just made this and i've been having it after every workout but i do two scoops of the protein powder so it's the full 20 grams but super good really nice day out feels amazing out here I'm sure you all can relate. I have been honestly slacking on the whole laundry situation. And I think the reason is because I'll just wear different clothes instead of washing the ones that I've worn. So I just feel very behind on all of this so one of my goals not just today it's gonna take me a lot longer than today to <laughs> get all this washed but by this weekend I want all of it to be done so I figure just start now sort all the piles and figure out how many loads I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> I got laundry going, which you can probably hear, it's always so loud, but I'm doing some work right now. I need to edit, and then I also need to move some like videos and clips off of my computer onto my external drive because I literally have no storage. I don't know why my storage just like gets taken up so fast. So I'm gonna do that while I watch some YouTube. <laughs> so it's gonna be a very productive next couple of hours. Finally finish doing this video. So I'm going to schedule it actually for tomorrow. I'm just going to do an extra video this week and post it on Saturday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we found a lost dog on our walk. I can't let him go. Oh. oh it's there. Maybe it's going home. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm talking about mouth open. Oh my god, that was. That actually scared me. That was. I just got scared by a seven pound chihuahua. Oh my god, that was actually so concerning. Really <laughs> oh my god, that was so. Where's the dog? He left. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're so pretty. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Did you flip it around and show them? I showed them. What did you guys think about that? I bet they liked it. We're just on a night walk. How long do you think we walked for? You know what's funny is I used to measure that yeah. on the phone, but I forgot. I want to say it's like three or four miles. 
You think? Yeah. Oh, that's good a pretty good walk. Yep. Just a nice little gander. We're getting fit out here. We are. You especially. You. <laughs> Stop it. That's oh, no, nice. And it feels like really good. It's like 90, 80 maybe something. It's in the 80s for sure. 80, let's guess. Let's Seven. Check. I'm going to guess 88. 91. 88. Oh my gosh. Wow. Good morning. Can we talk about that view last night? I know it's probably harder for you guys to see, but gorgeous. We drove up, I think it's like closer towards the mountains, and you get to see a whole view of the strip, and it was so pretty. I personally love seeing the strip no matter what, like we saw it earlier in the day, and at night, I just think it's stunning, so that was really fun. But we've been going on more evening walks lately and I love going on walks. I think it's so nice because you get like time to actually talk with the other person. You get some cardio in. So it's been fun doing more walks. But in Vegas right now, you definitely have to walk like later at night because it's so hot. We were probably walking at like 9 or 10 p.m. I don't know if this is like TMI, but I'm wearing these new Skims underwear and they are so nice, you guys. They literally feel so like soft and they like suck in your lower stomach and it just makes you look so good. <laughs> I have three pairs of them. Two of them I have the matching tops to, but they are my favorite underwear. So if you need some new good underwear, like you literally should buy these. They're kind of expensive, but so worth it. Also, I have like so many sounds going on right now with my fridge, AC, sorry. <laughs> but I have laundry I need to do this morning. I washed a couple loads yesterday and dried it, so I just need to fold it. I think I have one more I need to throw in and wash. And then I'm going to get ready. Brandon is at Starbucks right now. He's meeting with some clients, doing some work, but he said that it might be fun if I came after and we just got coffee. And I was like, yeah, I should do that i got something on the toe of this one and they're just looking so dirty i don't have time to like put them in the washing machine because i think i want to wear them today but i at least just want to like clean them up i'm just gonna take a little spray and wash and like spray them And then I think the key is a magic eraser. So I'm just gonna get this a little like damp. And then you can just start scrubbing away. And this is why I like to have a towel because you kind of start getting magic eraser pieces everywhere. Also, I think the trick with keeping shoes looking clean and white is like washing them periodically. Like don't wait until the shoes look completely trashed and that you like just need a new pair. You should honestly just wash them like every so often, even if you're just like wiping them down so it doesn't like consistently keep building up on the shoe. Now what I've been doing with it, like the first time I ever tried doing this hairstyle, I just used one hair tie and then did a bun out of it. But then I started doing two hair ties and that's been so much better. So I will put it in a ponytail first and then like check it and make sure that it's like all flat and that I like the way it looks, but I don't know where my, oh here, it's like where's my little mirror? Looks pretty good.
And I think at first I was like scared of using too much gel, but honestly, like more gel, the better. This lighting is, wow, very bright. also gonna add bobby pins right here because these pieces always get untucked or like they fall out so I'm just going to pin these I decided to wear this new top that I got from Princess Polly it's like sweater material but I love the back of it it's so cute and then I just paired it with these denim shorts make it a little bit more casual using my toiletry pouch clutch bag and then I put on my shadow sneakers and these look so clean I'm so glad that I decided to do that this morning thank you Brandon got us, an, well me, I've never had it, a new drink. What is it? Uh, black coffee with all the foam on the top. Okay. Shout out to Lucas who showed me this. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Is it really? Um, I think it's better than mixed. Taste it, taste test, let me see. First thoughts, go ahead. Oh, it's so good. I know. The foam? So good. Oh my gosh, I actually love it. I know. It's insane. Wait, great drink. I know. <laughs> I'm actually going to get this for us. Look how good it looks. Now mix it up and try it. Wow. Is it better now? I, mean, I like black coffee, but it's pretty good. We are gonna go to downtown Summerlin and do some shopping. She's making me get new clothes, so she doesn't like my clothes. Can you guys believe that? I did not say that. First of all, <laughs> offensive. Oh my gosh, you are listening to the new album. Yeah, not worth recommending. It is. The other album is 100 times better. Okay, yeah, but it's still K Camp. K Camp. I this like is it. the best one right here. Which one? Well, yeah, this is the best song. This is the other album. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is the one you recommend. This song, What's On Your Mind. 10 you guys, out of 10. So good. What's on your mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, come and talk to me. Show the scene. Trying to show you love. It's that TLC. My favorite song in my therapy Music for my soul, classic r and We don't need no plan B, but to have a family Sounding like a Grammy Every time you speak, make me wanna sing Yeah, make me wanna sing It was a very successful shopping trip Oh my god Like I'm gonna post a full on try on haul <laughs> So many clothes I got Four shorts, right? Mm, I think so Yeah Four shorts. Did you get six shirts? Four shorts, six shirts, and socks. one pair of socks. No, you got two packs. Oh yeah, I got yeah. I'll put it back up. It's you know, now one forty-one. And we're gonna swing by Nordstrom's rack for wife beaters, right? Yeah. You down? I'm so down. Okay. I didn't know we were doing that, but I'm pretty excited. It's <laughs> by your wife beaters. <laughs> I am. I actually love Nordstrom Rack. Well, I love Nordstrom. Every time I go to Nordstrom Rack, I can't find anything. Well, yeah, it's because everything is everywhere. Yeah, there's shit everywhere. So, there's yeah. Shit everywhere. Um, where do you usually buy them? Do they have them at Target? I bought them at Target, but they keep shrinking above my belly button. I'm like wearing a damn crop top. Looks <laughs> <laughs> super awkward in the gym. Are they extra I'm large? Sorry. Um, they are double X, I think. No, when we were at Target last time, you bought XL for no, those one shirts. Those were those were just like a tank top. Those are not quite here. Do those fit? Kind of fun, funky. 
<laughs> what? What were you gonna say? <laughs> I'm trying like, to curve my mouth. You're like on the vlog. We can't oh, say that. that, that, that. <laughs> okay, that's crazy, I just pulled up to Smith's. I'm going to Arizona on Tuesday. I'm just going for a night. But I'm so excited to see baby mama and her new house. I know it's going to be like a super quick trip. So I don't need to worry too much about like food getting old or anything. Because it's like literally a day. But yeah, I'll think about what I want to do for my grocery shopping. I'm just going to run in and get like a couple things right now. But I was doing some laundry. I started the dishwasher and I was just like cleaning up around my apartment. I know that some of you guys also have mentioned if I watch Outer Banks and you guys, I literally love that show so much. I watched season one last year, but Brandon and I started season one again last night because he's never seen it. So I'm going to re-watch season one so that he can watch it before I watch season two. So. I'm gonna get to that show, but it's just gonna be a little while. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. I definitely like the original and the sweet and spicy the best. This one is all right, but I haven't tried the honey one yet, so I'm gonna pick this up. I'm all about the comfy clothes. You guys know this. I get home from anything and I'm like, sweatshirt, sweatpants, but the set that I have on is kind of old. It was my Cabo airport fit, <laughs> but it's from Misguided, and Misguided honestly has really good loungewear that's for like a reasonable price. So you need some good like comfy sets I definitely recommend checking them out I am so far behind on Love Island I literally don't know how I got this far behind but I'm on episode 24 and they're already at episode 28 I'm like how many episodes of this show is there gonna be until the season is over I, I love the show. I'm not complaining. I'm glad that it's happening, but I'm behind. I honestly don't know who my favorite couple is because for a while, I really wanted Shannon and Josh and then I was super sad when they had to go home and the whole thing happened. I feel really bad about that whole situation. But now I'm like, I'm really unsure. I honestly think that if Cinco and Cache would have been together, like if Cinco would have just picked her and not gone so back and forth with the whole Trina situation, then they would have been a power couple for sure. Like they would have been super strong. And then there's Kira and Will. And I'm not trying to be rude, but I feel like they're kind of bland. Like... I don't know if it's just what they show on the episodes, but I'm just like, man, they're kind of boring. <laughs> so now I'm kind of like, I don't know. Like I'm obviously happy for them, but they don't add a lot of excitement to me. It's now 9.31 and Brandon and I are gonna get up super early tomorrow and go on a hike. So I think I'm actually going to close out this vlog here and then just start a new vlog tomorrow. Sometimes it's hard for me to decide like how much I should keep the vlog rolling or if I'm like I should start a new video because I can't really remember how much footage I have and that's why like some videos will be like 20 minutes and then some can be like 40. I'm like I don't even know <laughs> but yeah I think I'm just gonna end this one here and start up a new video tomorrow so you guys know the drill 
give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you haven't yet you need to subscribe okay <laughs> but i will see you guys in the next one bye guys